Well, the biggest thing that comes to mind is uh, seven returning starters. Yes, seven returning starters. So seven returning starters makes for lofty expectations. Yeah, I mean, coming in from a, a year where we, we tied the school record for wins, and I think we reemerged as a uh, you know traditional UMass Lowell team. Um, it's it's exciting to have the amount of kids back that that, that we do. Um, you know, we return a lot of the 45 home runs that we hit. We return a lot of our offense. Um, anytime you can start with returning the conference player of the year in Boris, I mean that's a that's a good place to start at. And and the other part that's been fun is it's really my first full freshman recruiting class so um, so right. it's been a good mix of of youth and um, and veteran leadership so that's been that's that's been really fun over the last uh, four months you had a terrific year last year what's it take to go beyond that and do you have that yeah we do we think we do and uh, it's it's just we've got to be better in the little things uh, last year at, at times we would have defense you know major defensive breakdowns um, at times as good as particularly Rachel Schaffler emerged for us the second half of the year our, our pitching at times could break down and um, we had great stretches of offense and then other times we didn't do the little things there so it's just that's the hardest step to be great um, and that's where we're trying to knock on the greatness door is to consistently do do the little things every single time out to, to try to get to be great. You mentioned pitching at times broke down. Do you have the pitching depth uh, that you need for a full season? Yeah, we're, we're excited about um, obviously returning uh, Alyssa, uh, then uh, freshman Courtney Lanfranchi, who uh, you know really came on late during her high school career, led Burlington High and former UMass Lowell alum uh, Krista Mahoney's team all the way to the state championship game. and. Um, so we're excited about what she brings to the table, and then we were fortunate the first week of class we got a call from Caroline Gattuso, who had been a two-year starter at Bates, and she was looking to uh, transfer into our nursing program, and uh, we, we got her the first week of class, so kind of a, a little bit of a gift from the softball gods. And so, you know, three, three is a, a really good number to have pitching-wise. We can keep three kids happy. There's, there's lots of innings to be had, and where last year at times it got a little scary with just the two, um, particularly when, when kind of Rachel was more just a pitcher not you know not a hitter either so it kind of took away a little bit of some flexibility within the lineup. How do you like the lineup? We like it a lot. Um, you know, I think it's got everything you would want in it. We've we, two freshmen at the top, left left-handed kids that are, uh, are, are going to be speed kids and and hit with some power and uh, speed at, all the way through to our first three kids, and then speed again from uh, seven seven on down to nine. And then we got some big bangers in the middle of the lineup. So uh, you know, it's we've got some lefties in there, and um, it's uh, I think I think people are going to be excited to watch us uh, watch us hit. Talk about speed top and bottom. You talk about bangers in the middle. Does it give you, as a coach, as a manager of a game, does it give you more flexibility? Yeah, you know, when we played Brown on Saturday in a scrimmage and kind of a cold, windy day, and it was the type of day that a lot of runs weren't going to be scored. So we ended up manufacturing uh, three runs on, on two hits. And so, so it gives me... Um, an opportunity to take a breath and say, "Hey, we can we can win on a bunt, we can win on a home run, we can win on anything in between." Uh, where maybe last year, again, we had some speed, we had some a little bit of short game, but we were really dependent upon the home run. As important as pitching is, uh, part of the part of the run prevention is pitching. Part of it is defense. Is this team defensively strong? I sure hope so. You know that <laughs> that's my supposedly area of expertise, and we've been okay in that in that aspect. My, my our first two years or my first two years here at UMass, and uh, I, I think we're, we're taking a step forward uh, to be better. And a lot of it wasn't the physical aspect; it was our emotional, mental aspect with things at times. And I think we've taken that last step to to be a much more mentally strong team. How do you develop mental toughness? Well, we brought in a sports psychologist in in November, and uh, he was pretty powerful in what he did. And so we're just really working working a lot with routines and releases and and really and not uh, encouraging isn't a strong enough word but I'll use that word encouraging our kids to forgive themselves after mistakes uh, whether it's you know a perceived bad at bat on their part or a, or a physical or mental error in the in the field uh, that that was really our weakness over my first two years here that we would hold on to those mistakes sometimes for weeks at a time and uh, we're becoming much more uh, forgetful in a good way with, with these things. You know, our, we're, we're, our, our memory's starting to shorten up where uh, the first two years our memories were way too long on failure. I listen to you talk and it sounds like this is a good ball club. That said, is there a difference between being good enough to win and knowing how to win? And if there is a difference, does this team know how to win? 
That's a really good question. Uh, I think we have enough that that was a part of a lot of really a lot of wins our, our last two years. You know, 57 wins the last two years, and you know, kids like Lindsey Panarelli and Megan Guy, who who were freshmen um, when it wasn't so good in 2009, and to to be here now where it's where we think it's pretty good um, so I, I, I think they know how to win um, and I, our, the freshmen that we've brought in are winners and um, you know so I, I think it's gonna be a good combination of that but at the end of the day that's why we play the game and um, that's really the last step for us is to can we can we do it consistently and and we talk about win forever and, and that's not winning ball games but that's playing like a winner all the time and and we haven't done that uh, in our first two years but I, I think that's what we're gonna do this year talk about uh, your skill you said what worked against this last year was our schedule strength. Not so much the case this year. Yeah, yeah, that was hey, other than the fact that we lost some games that we knew were really bad losses, you know, with, with some of the, the quote unquote, you know, I'm not wouldn't say weaker teams in the conference, but they just right. didn't have a strong record. So um, you know that that is the good thing about the NE ten that anybody in this league can be even the worst teams in this league can split with you. You know, um, you don't see too often that they're going to sweep one of the top teams, but they got enough to, to, to pop you one game and they're, and they're happy with that. So, um, you know, we lost some games to teams that didn't make the playoffs. Uh, um, and so we knew that going in that that certainly was, was not in our favor. But some of the other teams we were competing with also had done a similar, some similar stuff. But at the end of the day, we, we just didn't play as strong a regional schedule as um, – the Merrimack did, who got in over us, and uh, hopefully we've we've rectified that with, with playing some PSAC teams that you know that's regarded as one of the best softball conferences in the country, and for us those are in region games, even though they're quote unquote not in our region, and uh, being able to pick up Dowling, who uh, won the ECC regular season, being able to pick up Dominican, who won the CACC regular season, Malloy, who won the ECC tournament, um, you know I, I think it's going to uh, a, make us a better team because it's great competition, but B, hopefully help, uh, help us if we don't take care of business and win a, a Northeast 10 conference uh, tournament that, that we have a shot, a, a little better shot to get in. All right, Coach, thanks very thanks much. Guys. Good luck.